Hi, I'm Sophia, and I am lazy as hell. And quarantine has only exacerbated this wonderful character trait of mine. So today I bring you how to style the easiest piece of clothing when you are feeling lazy as hell, like me, sweatshirts. Be sure to like and subscribe for more fashion commentary and advice, and let's get started. Woohoo! Oh, Here is the first sweatshirt I have. It features a giant ass on the front. JK, it's Eeyore the donkey, and he is so cute. I thrifted this, but it's originally from Disney, which is pretty cool. I actually have a pre-tip that is to roll up your sleeves. Not only does it show off an extra inch of scandalous wrist territory, but I think it adds a more flattering sleeve silhouette. My first official tip is to wear sweatshirts with skirts. I've seen so many girls on TikTok do this, which means it is peak fashion. Here is a thrifted private school uniform skirt that sort of gives off schoolgirl fetish vibes, but maybe that's just because I'm Asian, who knows. Anyways, I've tried this tip with my red washu sweatshirt as well. The green from the skirt matches the green from the lettering, which ties the whole outfit together, and this was actually a fit that I used in my styling plaid skirts video, which you should go check out. If you don't happen to have a matching colored skirt, you can always go for black or white. Here I have a navy thrifted sweatshirt with my black denim skirt, and it looks pretty nice if I do say so myself. Cue some cringy dancing. Mini skirts aren't the only thing that go with sweatshirts. Midi skirts also work. Because a crop silhouette helps break up the huge chunk of fabric between a big sweatshirt and a longer skirt, I tied up my sweatshirt using a shoelace and tucked it around it. The pink from my skirt also matches Eeyore's little nostrils, which I think is a nice cohesive touch. For my washu sweatshirt, I didn't have a matching midi skirt, but I did have a matching midi dress. So here is the same shoelace trick again for this outfit. In this way, it's also dress code appropriate, because God forbid a bare midriff roaming the halls. And finally, I have a blue maxi dress with beige buttons that match my sweatshirt's lettering. My next tip is to wear overalls with an oversized sweatshirt. This pair is from Romwe, and together with my Lubbock, Texas sweatshirt, I look kind of like a country boy ready to plow the corn or some shit. My next tip is to layer different types of necklines and collars underneath big sweatshirts. Most sweatshirts have boring crew neck necklines, which are boring, so it can add some dimension to an outfit if you have a polo shirt collar or even a turtleneck underneath. Both of these match a color on my ass sweatshirt. Again, here's the same trick with my red and green sweatshirt. And finally, an option with my cowboy sweatshirt over a matching beige turtleneck. It almost killed me to put on this much clothing in 100 degree heat, but anything for my 799 subscribers. Pairing a baggy hoodie with baggy bottoms is my next tip. Here is my red Brandy Helville inspired zip up, which was also featured in my Brandy Helville dupes video, which you should also go check out, he he he, and matched with some thrifted Levi jeans. This fit honestly looks ready to be posted on a 13-year-old's outfit Pinterest board who is obsessed with, with cheetah print tank tops. If you don't have baggy jeans or you live in Texas where you'd melt, try wearing some baggy shorts instead. Here are some basic denim shorts I've paired with my Disney sweatshirt, and it still has the same baggy on baggy effect. And finally, I have this monstrosity. I stole its extra large pullover from my dad, and it says server and tools division developer cluster on it, which may or may not be his job. I actually have no idea. Who actually knows what their dad does? Or I guess I'm just such a great daughter. Sorry, dad. Anyways, this one is so large that I think it looks fine on its own. So I just threw on a pair of black shorts that still make me look like I am naked underneath, but it's okay. And that's all I have for you guys today. Like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram at underscore SophiaZoo underscore. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!